Hello everybody. This is the new Edmica kit for the uh, FD 35 to 105 uh, f3.5 uh, to convert to EOS. Uh, it's a really nice kit. Uh, it's a really nice lens, um, and it's nice that it uh, it works on EOS with no no mirror, mirror interferences with any uh, any full frame or crop body cameras, and it's fully reversible and it's a fairly easy conversion. So. I'm going to show you how, to, how it goes now, um, and here is uh, what comes with the kit. One of the new Edmica uh, recycled wood lens caps. It's really nice. It's, uh, one, it's, it's lower profile than the uh, EOS cap, which is great because it takes up less room in your camera bag. And, uh, and it comes with the uh, FDN uh, adapter, and it comes with the new Ed uh, baffle, and uh, a little uh, ring there for... Uh, Minimizing internal reflections comes with the new um, Ed uh, bushing that uh, replaces the iron ring inside the uh, lens, and it comes with an Ed link. Um, which, when you get it in the package, you're going to have to put the Ed link together. So you'll need to find yourself some uh, pliers. Basically, uh, you're going to find the uh, the hole, and you're going to put it in. And you can kind of carefully hammer it down, and that's it. That's put together. I don't send it assembled because uh, obviously it'll take up more room, and I'm able to send it nice and flat in an envelope uh, for like letter mail. Um, so you you take your um, your lens, your 30. It only works on the 35 to 105 f 3.5, the FDN mount, um, and uh, then I'll show you now how to put the kit on and convert it to EOS. You need to get yourself a nice high quality uh, Phillips screwdriver um, size zero. And you could probably work with zero zero but zero is better. And uh, let's take this one apart. And the key to not stripping heads is use a lot of, a lot of force. So put push hard so that the when you're turning it so that you have the less chance of a thread stripping. Okay, so you're taking those three off. Now you just sort of pop this top mount off. Then you rotate this until you hear a click. And then you pull this off. Next we're going to take off these one, two, three, four screws. Again, lots of lots of force while turning so that you don't strip them. Now these four screws don't lose because these you need to use again to reattach the new mount. Now, if you don't plan on de-clicking your lens, if you want to keep it original so that when it turns you hear the clicking, then um, it's, it's safer if you switch it to A mode, because then there's less chance that it'll pop out and then you'll lose, potentially lose a few little parts. Now, you don't need those. You can take those little, there's a little bearing in there and um, even the mechanism. Um, you could take that all out and for the EOS kit it will work just fine. So personally I prefer taking that all out but if you want to, uh, if you want to keep the clicks then switch it to A and then it, there's less chance for that ring falling out. And then we take the last screw off. And just lift up this piece. Now um, you need to take this metal ring out. Now, okay, before I said go to A mode, uh, but to get the ring out, there is a little tab there and there's a little slot there, and you need to have them line up. And so you're going to have to go out of A mode a little bit so that they line up, and then you can take this part out. 
and then you can go ahead and put it back into A mode. Now, well, I might as well show you because if this will probably happen to you, but if you don't have it in A mode and it pops out like this, let me just show you here. There's a little bearing here that you want to, it, it, it's good to put a little bit of Vaseline or something on so you don't lose it there. And then this mechanism. You can do it, you can take that out, that, and that little button, and the conversion will still work. Now, if you want to keep it on and it came off, the key to putting it back on the lens is uh, find where that bearing is. See where this little, the bouncy track thing is here? You want to put the bearing on it carefully. And in order for this thing to be able to go back on, you need to move this out of the way. And the way you do that is you push it push the button in so it moves it up out of the way and then you're able to put it back on like that and then go to A mode so that it stays together but that's how you take it apart and put it together there now you are gonna take your uh, Ed bushing with the Ed link attached and now the key here is um, there's two big slots here. You're going to do the one on the right. You're going to do the one that's clockwise. Um, and inside, and I'm going to try to see if I can see it here, it's kind of hard to see that far down, but there's just a couple of goal posts that you're going to need to get this link into. So basically, just slide it down. You can kind of see inside and feel your way in between those goal posts. And you know you have when you're able to turn the aperture. Um, now the other end, there's a little slot here um, and the tab and they need to line up so oh, I just popped this thing out so you just press the A button and get it to go back in but basically you line up the slot with the tab and you're ready to put it together. So all you need to do is line up the holes, the four holes, and use the same screws this is usually easier to do when you do it straight up and down but I've got the camera in the way right now so one of the screws, remember to put the screws in the same holes one of the screws is silver and the silver one goes in the smaller hole Don't over tighten it, you don't want to strip it or anything. But you'll notice now, I don't know if you can see. Might help if I had something white to put underneath. Yeah, you can see it opening and closing. So we have aperture control. And basically, uh, You just, uh, you now have an EF lens in every manner of the way. It's obviously, except of course it's not electro focus because it's still a manual focus lens, but basically uh, it's EF. Uh, your dandelion chip will become programmed um, with the aperture reporting 35mm uh, and f3.5 uh, and you can change that programming as you like. Um, uh, or perhaps I'll have it set at 105. I'm not really sure how I'm going to set this one because it's a zoom lens. It's one of my first zoom lenses that I'm going to be uh, selling a kit for. But basically, uh, that's really all there is to it. It's not too bad. It's not nearly as hard as the 85L. All right. Thanks. Uh, that's all.